What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jonathan Cabrera. If you're new here, I make videos on YouTube about filmmaking and content creation. If that's something that you're interested in, please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Today's video, we are going to be talking about my everyday carry that I use for YouTube videos and travel films. First up is my A7S II. I've had this camera for about a year now and I do not plan on selling it because it's still a good camera. It's as if it was brand new. I just have not shot enough content with it. And with that being said, it has great autofocus, it's full frame, and the only downside is the battery life, but the image quality from this camera is just amazing. I'm really trying to just figure out the camera, the best settings for color. Before I really commit to buying another one, I really want this one to just get completely worn out or fall out of a plane or a train or something while I'm trying to get like an amazing shot. I currently only own one lens. And I made sure when I bought a lens that it, it was a zoom lens that had multiple lenses inside of it. That's pretty much the reason that most people buy zoom lenses is to have those different those different types of uh, angles. I chose the 24 to 70 millimeter. It, what's awesome about this lens though is that it has a constant aperture of f4, so it's not constantly changing on me when I zoom in and out. It's constant the lighting, but even at an f4, I still can get a shallow depth of field, which is great for certain shots. Also, having a constant aperture of f4, it really doesn't matter if I can't go any lower because the a7s II is so great in low light I can just boost up the ISO and still get clean image quality. The 24 gives me a nice wide shot which I use in all my landscapes and then the 70 gives me a nice close personal portrait shot which is great. So since this camera has a crop in when you do slow motion it's pretty cool because that 70 becomes an even greater focal length and you get even closer slow motion shots. So I have the cheapest I think the $50 Gorilla Pod. It's not like the the lightest one though, but it's the the about the I guess the beginner tripod you would get if you started vlogging. But what's awesome about this is that you can perch it up on rocks, attach it to railings, and get some awesome shots. What I like about that is this tripod has lasted me a while. I mean, it's just now starting to fall apart on me, but I'm still going to keep using it until it completely just breaks on me. For travel and vlogging, I chose the, the Mavic Air. I had the Mavic Pro before, but the Mavic Air is just a lot more smaller. I don't really want to get into to too much detail about the drone because I want to actually do a review on it, but the image quality in a drone this small is pretty amazing, and you can really take it with you anywhere. Not too many people ask what it is until you actually take it out and fly it and it's still pretty quiet not as quiet as the Mavic Air but I don't want to really get too much into that but it's still pretty stealthy so I have this RAV power charger it can charge two batteries a, at a time via micro USB I use this to charge all three of my Sony batteries when one dies I just swap it out and it's really convenient for me because the batteries on these Sony cameras actually die really quick but that's the downside of this camera but other than that, there's more ups than downs. This helps me really shoot for about a whole day, if not half a day, but I still get enough good footage. I try not to shoot 4K all the time just to make my batteries last a little bit longer. So these are my first wireless headphones. I actually got them from my family as a birthday gift. I've had them for about five months. I do want to do a review on them, but I can tell you right now, these are some awesome wireless headphones. They fit right in your pocket. They charge up through the actual little pod, and it's just so convenient i don't know what i would do without them now i'm so happy that i don't have to worry about wires and all that and the audio from them sounds just like a regular pair i think they're actually the cheapest wireless headphones now a lot of the competitors are a little bit more but these will get you through the day so this is not my favorite microphone by all means but i did get it at the time and when i did get it about a month later the rode video mic pro plus came out and i had all types of regrets but this mic is good you just have to remember key thing here to turn it off when you're done with it and to turn it back on when you're going to use it there have been numerous times where i have turned this thing on and i had just forgotten and the batteries died or i've recorded a whole video like this and i forgot to turn it on so i have no scratch audio to really sync up the audio with this microphone so it's kind of a win-win with this microphone i get good i get good audio quality though but sometimes I just forget to turn it on. Okay, so I don't think a lot of people talk about this, and I do want to make a video about this, an ND filter. Now, this camera during the day has some crazy highlights. Like, it's just blown out. I think it's because it's just a good camera at nighttime versus during the day, so it just reads um, lighting or highlights just to the max. So what I do is I put an ND filter on it. This gives me a couple more stops, 
and I can get the perfect exposure during the day. I think everybody needs one of these even if you don't have an A7S II. It helps when you're outside and it's too bright to give you a couple more stops. So when you're doing product photography or holding something outside, you get a nice shallow depth of field. So definitely look into an ND filter. So I don't even remember when I got this battery bank, but when I'm out traveling or just out and about or vlogging somewhere, it's really nice to have this because I can charge my phone about six times. I can charge a couple of my camera batteries. I can charge up my drone uh, control. I can charge up my drone controller, which is super convenient. Um, this thing has just been a complete workhorse. I've dropped it so many times. I've lost it. I found it. It's just something that you definitely need to have in your bag when you're traveling or you're just going out because you never know where you're going to be and your phone dies but you need to charge it. So it's definitely come in handy and it's saved me from a couple mishaps. So let me know what's in your everyday bag. This is my minimalist gear. This is all of the little things that I have that I need to make these videos for YouTube and to go out and make travel films. Leave a comment below what kind of gear to use for your travel films or for your YouTube videos. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.